Hey everyone, this is Handy Mandy, and this week we'll be continuing some do-it-yourself jewelry. Um, I did this one last week, the hex nuts, as you can see, and it's made with some cotton twine. And then a week before I did a, uh, well not a week before, but a while ago, I did one with uh, a zipper, so if you can see that. So this week we'll be doing some more. Um, what you'll need is either the cotton twine again from last week, and this is just from the dollar store, it comes with its own blade. Um, you can also use Sutosh, and it's got this little braid, like really, really small braid in there. So that's what that is. Um, um, you can also use yarn if it's thick enough, like the twine, the cotton twine. Um, and what else? You're going to need, I'm going to use this because this works so much better than tape, trust me. You can get these in packs at the dollar store and find a table with like a little edge so that you can hook it on and strap it over top so that way you're, um, when you're doing your jewelry and stuff it won't come loose. And um, for colors, they say to use this kind of wax thread or something. There's an article I got, I looked at, so I'll put the link below to that and the Pinterest uh, source, the inspiration. Um, so I'm just using embroidery floss. And most importantly, what you're gonna need, besides scissors, you need those two. Um, you're gonna need, these are chains that you use. Fudge! Sorry. You're gonna need these chains that um, they use for fans. You can see that. So um, they have silver and gold coloring. They're not actually, you know, silver and gold. It's probably like zinc or something coated. Um, the gold one or the silver one is one of them is more expensive than the other. So you're between three ninety nine to four nineteen for these. Um, now you can either use the hex nuts. These are from last week. These are four nine nine at your hardware store. And this is a 3 16th inch. Um, though it looks like the twine, either like the way I made it last week, you either want thicker twine or smaller hex nuts, but it's up to you. You can still use it as a closure, uh, which is what the uh, directions for this one calls for. Or you can use um, a button. Now, most importantly, when you're choosing a button, do not choose one with the little holes. Okay, you want to choose a shank button. These have holes in in the middle of the button. This one is completely flat, with no holes, and it, there's a little hoop on the end. That's a shank button, so that's the kind you want. So um, I have a couple here. Some are fancy. The other ones are mostly plastic because the ones I got were from Walmart, and they came in those big bags, and like two, three, four dollars for them. Um, those are your options. So let's get started. All right, so. These are the colors that I'm going to be using. Um, normally, when I do a cool color, I balance it with a warm color, like a gold. But seeing as how I really like the blue, and this is almost like a blueberry, um, I'm going to go with the silver just to keep it all cool. And blue is pretty traditional, so I should be able to go with anything. Um, now, first off, since I'm using the Sutosh, it tends to fray. So I'm at you got two options. Either you can knot it like this end, or you can actually use what's known as fray stay. And I highly recommend this for just about any project. The only thing is, depending on how much you use it and what kind you get, I can imagine, um, it tends to make the edges really crispy. So it's up to you. So I'm going to knot this. All right. Um, I want to see how many times this is going to wrap around because this is really long and what I might do see, get out of the shot okay what I might do is just cut it in half since it's extra long so first up I'm going to figure out where this is going to start. Get 
a little bit of looseness. Wrap around five to six times, making sure all the strands are being wrapped side by side. The whole point is to wrap in between each of these little balls. So since I can, I'm going to actually wrap it around twice at the beginning. Now that I've gotten three of them and it's secure, So I've knotted around the hex nut. I'm cutting off the excess. Let's try this bad boy on. Okay. And there we are. So I have my zipper bracelet. I have the new bracelet that you just saw me make. And this one. Here it is. There's the closure. See y'all next week.